Record like an Egyptian. Yo, hey guys, today I'll be showing you a couple of tricks on the map King's Row. As Farah and Genji, you can either do it like on the attack, you know, defending side, depending whichever. But yeah, while the, whilst the game is loading, I'll just want to say that, um, that I'll be uploading like a couple of videos a week, probably two, with the channel, and then if I get good gunplays, of course. And then yeah, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, just I just wanted to say a little bit about that, and then um, yeah, let's go. I'll sh yep. So the first one is Asfara on the defending side. Um, I did this wrong before. Yep, I just did the same thing. I did the same mistake. But yeah, I'll just show you. If you're attacking um, the payload, and say for example, let me just go to the place. And let's say for the example, the payload is like literally almost to that area. Just if you don't know, like say the pillar is almost in that area, and then say if you have your ability, you can obviously if you come through this way you could easily die, but um, you can also go from underneath. So you hover, and then you activate your ability, and then you can easily activate the uh, your ultimate, which is the Justice Reigns from above, and you can pretty much clear out the whole area. And they're not and they don't really expect it, so it's I don't really I've never seen anyone do this in a game. But I'm guessing in competitive, this this will be like very popular, and it's the same thing. Say if you're defending the objective, and then you come to this area, and say they're attacking, and the payload is on that side, you can do the same thing. So you just jump, hover, and then click shift, fly behind, and justice reigns from above thing. And yeah, the same thing works with them. Um, with Genji, so let me just kill myself and I'll show you how that one works out. Okay, let's switch to Genji. With Genji, it's much, much more difficult to do because, yeah. Ah, I did the respawn time back then, I was supposed to um, decrease it because this is a custom game, if you didn't know. Um, but yeah, apparently I increased it by like, I doubled it. Oh. Is there like a way to go through? Anyways, uh, the same thing with Genji, but it's like much harder. Say if you have your ability, um, same thing. You jump down, and then you double jump, and then you do that, and then he comes. But see how he climbed the edge of that? If you time everything correctly, he shouldn't, and he should just jump up, and then you can activate his ability and just pretty much clear out some. Depends on who's on the, and depends if the enemy see you or not, and you can just pretty much clear out the main area and the same thing is on this side ah, I think this is yep see I just I double jumped a bit too late so I had to climb the ledge and that's just takes like a second obviously but like every second matters in this game if you haven't noticed and yeah so let me try and do it again properly uh, nope, I did that wrong again. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, that's pretty much it. It's really useful, and I'll just show it again one more time with um, with Farah because it's really, really useful uh, spawn time. But it's like really useful technique to use um, payloads and the payload, obviously, because it's only a payload map. But um, it's like really, really useful to use, and you can guarantee most of the time that you'll. Um, the you'll get a lot of kills and you'll probably get the play of the game and also even if you don't have your ultimate um, you can just use the um, knockback ability that she has so let me just jump down so you just hover and then you do that and then you can knock back everyone and then your team can push it to the objective and if you have good team coordination and uh, team a good team then you can easily, easily like cap it in the last few seconds. Or even say if the payload was like in this area, most of the enemies are going to be over there, 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 and then obviously in those two areas. And every time I play this map, there's always a turret up there for some reason. But um, the, say if you play with a team, tell them to take down the turret before you do that maneuver, because if you do it, the turret will take you down by the time you reach. And same thing if you're defending. When you jump down and over, okay, let me just do it real quick. Um, so yeah, if you jump, hover, and then you click shift, you fly up. Say if the 
if they were pushing the payload it's about here their, their team is gonna mo just make sure there's no one when you're flying up just make sure like to look in this area because there might be one there there and then most like some maybe Widowmaker there and then if they have also a Hanzo Widowmaker up there and then obviously um, that area but most of the time you'll probably find a Reinhardt on the objective with a couple of couple of like probably Zenyatta I don't know why I always see a Re uh, Reinhardt Zenyatta and Soldier 76 as a pair I mean as a trio like on the objective so say if you come up and then you can activate your ability or just knock them all back and then your enemy can do their abilities or whatever so yeah it's just wanted to make a quick video and basically that's everything so yeah I'll see you guys later fly like an Egyptian <laughs>